welcome back to remote sensing applications using ArcGIS. In this session, we're going to assess the variability of ground elevation estimates from LIDAR. And we'll actually have two study areas. So one study area will be along the Tanana River, and the other study area will be in the uplands. This is uh, the Parks Highway between Fairbanks and Nanana. So in the uplands, each LiDAR pixel is a one meter pixel. So here's an area in a valley bottom and it's about 358 meters above sea level. And here's a ridgetop area and it's about 464 meters above sea level. And we could give a color ramp to our LiDAR and then basically there's our LiDAR elevation. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna assess the precision of LiDAR in an area that's relatively flat, so the Parks Highway. And we have some points along the Parks Highway. So what we'll do is we'll create a two meter buffer around each point. So the Parks Highway is relatively flat, so what we would expect is within each two meter buffer, the elevation estimate from LIDAR should be relatively constant within that two meter buffer. So the next step will be to use a zonal statistics as table tool to create a table within each buffer polygon. So for example, within the first buffer polygon, there were 12 one meter pixels and the average elevation was 435.97 meters with a standard deviation of about 12 centimeters. The next buffer, there was 14 pixels inside that buffer. The standard deviation was about uh, two centimeters. So basically the standard deviation should be fairly close to zero for these buffers that are on the parks highway. And you would do a similar thing in the Tanana River study area. So we have in this case, three river locations and we'll buffer each of those three river locations by five meters. So here's our first buffer in point number one, we would expect the elevation of the river to be constant within that buffer. So the standard deviation should be close to zero. And then also as we go downstream, we expect the mean elevation within each buffer to decrease as we go downstream. So we can check the relatively relative accuracy of our LIDAR estimates that the mean elevation in this buffer should be greater than the mean elevation in this buffer, which should be greater than the mean elevation in buffer number three, which is the furthest downstream. Okay, and the last thing we'll do is we'll assess the accuracy of the LIDAR estimates on the uplands area. So we have high accuracy points that have the elevation estimates using GPS at a high accuracy. So what we'll do is for these elevation estimates from GPS, we'll compare them with the elevation estimates from LIDAR. So basically what we need to do is for each point, go and grab the pixel that point's sitting in and get the LIDAR estimate. So to do that, we'll use a geoprocessing tool. So we'll use a tool, extract values to points, where the input rasters are LIDAR ground elevation estimates, and our points are the GPS points, which have the elevation above sea level based on GPS. And I'll output that to GPS points LIDAR estimates.shp, and then just OK. Okay, so the next step is we'll add a double precision field called LIDAR L, and then we'll calculate this field to be equal to our raster value. So basically our raster value was extracted from our LIDAR elevation pixels. And then just okay. And then we'll delete our original raster value field because it doesn't really have a descriptive name raster value. Okay, so now what we wanna do is compute the difference between our actual elevation and our estimated elevation from LIDAR. 
So I added a double precision field called LIDAR, and then we'll calculate error is going to be equal to the actual GPS elevation minus our LIDAR estimates. So for example, for the first point, the error was 0 0.07 meters or 7 centimeters. Okay, so if you go to the Blackboard website, I've got some quiz questions for you concerning LIDAR. And some of the quiz questions will be LIDAR based on this uplands study area. And some of the quiz questions will be on LIDAR based on this Tanana River study area.